all right my people welcome back on to this channel well my people this is another one reaching us the truth of the matter is the Yoruba nation movement is still on and then the people are not ready to relent either you like it or not well onto this one says congratulations to Yoruba nation the new nation yes yeah, so and uh, right now what exactly are we talking about you know before now the agitators have been of the opinion that come 2022 Yoruba nation shall be actualized but no only god knows why it did not come 2022 but right now this is 2023 though the election is already by the corner and then the people in fact i love the courage of the people they are still of the opinion that no matter what even if the election comes up yoruba nation shall still stand i think that's a very great encouragement all right right now kudos to all the great yoruba nation agitators who had made it up to this level that a lot of people who are you know, actually trying to you know be weary about the movement right now they are now coming back and uh, i think i would say a very big thank you to professor banji akintoye chief sunday igboho mrs modupe oniti ri uh, professor wale adeni ronko iki in fact a lot of these people they have made it well to this level we are right now and then i think the situation to which we are right now nobody should ascertain any blame to anyone and then uh, right now most especially mrs moduponi tiri right now she has been doing a very great job though majority of people never believed in her you no know, some side of people have been like oh since she came into this struggle she had caused a lot of trouble she had made a lot of people to basled it and then um, right now Hmm. the story is now changing and uh, some side of people had already said it before that mrs moduponi tiri that you are saying that she's a politician she is working for bola Ahmed Tinubu. but of recent mrs moduponi tiri explained some things to us and then she actually talked about how the old scenario started and then how you no know, she actually you no know, wanted to join politics to make the life of the people better you no know, the truth of the matter is a lot of people will definitely say what they have seen but they might not know it to the you know to the right level to the extent to which they must have said it yes yeah, so you can just paraphrase some things sometimes you don't know actually what exactly that thing meant or where it had reached or the cause of that thing well meanwhile onto this one mrs modupo niti said a lot of things and then she had made it clear to ross all that yes she actually joined policies though to make the life of the people better and then she talked about the fact that when her husband a late husband said so to say talking about mko abiola when he was about to die she explained everything how the lord opened her eyes that oh this man in prison they want to kill him in fact they are killing him already to the extent oh they will be bringing his cops to to nigeria and then she ran according to her she ran out to dignitaries people that matter people that were actually you no know, supporters and they, they are big figure in the society who was actually supporting the husband as at then all right and then she made mention of chief um the late ganifa emi as at then and then she explained a lot of them never believed her just like they don't even believe her right now that a lot of them never believed her she went to um the late ganifa emi that oh this is exactly what i have seen in my vision what god has showed me that these people are trying to kill her husband and the the next thing they want to send is cops to nigeria and then according to mrs modupo nitiri she said she uh, she said all these things but they never believed her they were like mm, madam it's because you are fasting too much yes yeah, because you were fasting too much that so i don't worry the, nothing will happen to your husband your husband will come back alive and then she was like hmm, this thing that she was saying was so strong they never believed until it happened all right and then you know, they did all sorts with what we have we have seen so far june 12th if we are talking about june 12th we know what actually you no know, happened and then we also already know how the husband the late husband was killed onto this struggle and then she said that actually you no know, made her motivated her to say oh right now if that is the case we have to do it right what has happened to her husband should not happen to any yoruba nation 
agitator or any Yoruba nation person. Yes, so and then according to Mrs. Modupo Nisiri, she made it clear that, well, she said to them then that it had happened, it had happened it should not repeat itself well what is the way forward how can our people be happy because she saw another vision that you no know, with that kind of vision she saw that the youth will still come up on a very good day and that the time is coming that the youth will come that they want to go their separate ways though the elders the yoruba elders that were there never believed what she said then but you no know, lo and behold we are seeing what is happening right now and then, according to her, there was a kind of meeting that was held then, which was involving a lot of you no know, dignitaries, even from all over the part of the world. Yes, so rep their representatives were there, and then they talked about how they were going to you know, make the 1999 constitution. Well, according to Mrs. Modupo Nitiri, a lot were actually said. Meanwhile, just hear this from her, then you will understand what exactly we are talking about while I come later for more analysis. All right, my people, hear this. <laughs> Awa ko o wa ni o ma se e idibo egbe wa ni gba yen an pe ni jakan na papo gbogbo egbe to nja ijangbara pe ki won da mandate pada poko mi egbe yen je jakan ako iwe ko ani way forward for nigeria revolution not transition ninu we yen gba ta an ko we yen mo wa so fun baba wa ologbe mo ni olorun ma so fun mi pe lojo waju awon odo ma ma dide ta won fe gba awon ma pe ilu yi ta ma pe ilu yi ah baba ni ro o pe ilu pipike pe gbogbo lu lo nji ya every part of nigeria ni ya tin je won she's talking about the late ama soro ni gba ni fawe mi on this one ni ko te mi ri sha ejo e ba mi ko sinu we yen okay professional <laughs> Because ni ba yen ko ti si gogo technology to po to bai o wa o ko ti po to bai so en to ba fe ri inu we lo ma ti ri ke ba lo si gogo awon newspaper yen okay organization ke ba fe lo si library won e ri tabi ke lo si ganify mi library e ri we ti mo so yi all right ni page 33 yen ibe na ko nkan to lo fi ran mi si ngba yen na ko si mo ni won ma call lati pe ilu awon odo ni to ba di igba yen ki ijoba ma yo eni ke ni lenu o ni tori o wa legitimate exactly. o de wa justified that's what is happening right now ni 1999 okay on la ko iwe hmm. march 11 1999 what they consider e wa be lo si any of the organization newspaper organization one ni awon kokon na o ye kan si ni lowo page 33 ibe ni bo baba sha so pe ki sha ni si uru e awon ma awon youth yen to ba di be talking about baba gani fawe in me yes the late baba gani fawe in me that the person she was actually referring to on this one well onto this one it had no it has just proven to us that this Yoruba nation movement had long been you no know, viewed. God has actually seen it that it will come to pass. And that's exactly what we are actually talking about. Mrs. Moduponiteri actually explained a lot of things on this one. And then she had made it clear how the whole scenario actually happened. I'm just trying to paraphrase everything she said because it was a very long talk. Yeah, so she made it clear that the so-called 1999 constitution when they were about to you know make it clear 
make it written put it down to the people that it was the old one the old constitution that they now you know refined so that you no know, people will now like oh it was you no know, the they later something which never favored everyone because it was in the favor of the northerner unto this one that she had explained and then uh, right now she made it clear to everyone that this constitution will not favor us all and then they dragged they dragged at the end of it all some of the people that were there even the Yorubas that were there they were like but you should remember that this same government no, since your husband did not get there, this same government will be given to you, uh, another Yoruba man who is actually from your husband's state and all that. And then she was like, either they, you know, they are giving it to any Yoruba man or not, this constitution can never work because it will affect our people in later future. And then right now, we have all seen what exactly is going on in the country. Nobody is happy with the situation we have found ourselves. And then according to Mrs. Mudukboni Tiri, he said after everything had been said and uh, they have agreed that, oh, they will listen to them. They made a Yoruba man the, you know, the president as at then. So with the hope that after all this they have said, of which he had already known that later to come, it will affect the generation. This same constitution, we are all found ourselves. We have all found ourselves right now that it will later come to this that a lot of people will suffer and the rest. But lo and behold, she traveled back to the United States, and then after some time, she was like, "Okay, fine. Let us even visit this country back. Let's see the improvement." And then she said immediately she visited. When she visited, she was so shocked that everything that had been going on was not the arrangement they actually made because in that constitution some of the things were uh, and they said was that everybody will be happy a lot of people will enjoy it and then uh, to our greater surprise poverty was you no know, all over the places everybody was suffering to the extent that these set of people that were even suffering they, do, they did not even care but things were not okay the way it's supposed to be to the SND set of people that she was even trying to help that oh you people are suffering this is that that they were even actually there to collect money to even vote for this same northerners of which it was said that hmm, this money you people are collecting you are selling the future of your generation let us fight this out this was not the arrangement this exactly was not what no was planned that you people are not supposed to be suffering in this manner even the same money they are giving to you to say you want to vote that same money they will they steal your money that they are using giving to you that you are supposed to enjoy more than this but a lot of people never you know took it rightly they took it for granted and exactly what we are still facing right now a lot of things though were actually said but mrs modupari on this one had made it clear that as far as 2023 is concerned though that yoruba nation shall be actualized that we have actually got into that level that the actualization is on and then as it stands right now even if the so-called election comes in yoruba will still stand out and a lot of people will definitely enjoy themselves well my people majority of things do were actually said onto this one but the truth of the matter is we all need to come together as one because right now according to what i've been gathered majority of people actually reacted in different forms in different patterns onto this one and then with what they have actually said so far the major clause the major thing had been that let mrs mudupe onitiri work with baba akintoye chief sunday Bo, and every other yoruba nation agitators who actually started this before now so that the the glorious actualization will come with speed yes it will come with speed and then everybody will be happy you must not like neglect the set of people who actually started it and i think it's a very good idea is something that we should actually look into like what i've rightly said earlier that everybody needs to be very very prayerful onto this one because hmm, 
to get a nation is not my mind yes so it's not peanuts and then it's not a joke so everybody needs to wake up on this and do the need for where my people majority of things though had actually been said onto this one till i come your way next time have a good day and uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel bye for now Thank <laughs> you.